It sounds like it's very important what other people think of you. Oh, is, is that what it sounds like? To me, it does, yes. To you, it does. I see. I see. So after five minutes, you think you know me. Is that it? A little, perhaps. Might I? I'm not sure how this is going to help. Indulge me. Thank you. I see you're on vacation in Rio de Janeiro in this photo with your partner, I'm guessing. Or is he your husband? Yes, probably wanted to make it official, didn't you? Never thought you'd see it in your lifetime, blah, 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 blah. At a quick glance, I'd say there's roughly a 26-year age difference between the two of you. Not quite large enough to raise eyebrows while still giving you a younger mind to shape. Oh, you mean you haven't seen All About Eve, Gypsy, Valley of the Dolls, etc.? And a younger body to make you feel more virile. Ah, how accomplished and affluent you both look in this photo. Just the image Michael is so desperate to project. Let's look a little closer, shall we? Now, I see you're both wearing Ralph Lauren purple label dress shirts that retail starting at $495. But from the disfigured buttonholes on one and the small discoloration on the other, I can see you bought them at the outlet in Providence. Probably third markdown, in which case $49, give or take. Since you also have light jackets on, I can see that you went there during summer vacation, which is, in fact, winter in Rio, outside of the high tourist season. And I see that you're on the rooftop pool deck at the Fasano Hotel in Ipanema, the most exclusive hotel in all of Brazil. Michael would have been dying to stay there. He had a friend that went with his older boyfriend, who makes a lot of money in most likely banking, much to your chagrin. But even in August, it's almost $1,000 a night. You tell him people are starving in the streets in Brazil. How do you justify paying those prices? When the truth is, you simply can't afford it. It's for another class of gay people. The window that Michael is always desperately peering through and sadly on the other side of as you see Michael glancing about the rooftop deck looking at all the young men. Men that would be 20 years younger than even Michael. Men that you're invisible to, but he isn't yet. Not completely. And you're jealous and you loathe yourself for it. But Michael wants a photo and he says, let's take a selfie. But you say, let's ask someone to take one of us and make some tired joke about selfies that only you laugh at. Wishing that you could take it out of the air as soon as you've said it, as it's just one more indicator that you're older than everybody here. So Michael calls over a young man wearing a tiny swimsuit to take the photo and makes a crude joke that embarrasses you, but the young man laughs. And he and Michael share a moment that you're not part of and you feel humiliated and unseen. Which explains Michael's joyful grin and your slightly disconnected half-smile. And you've posted the photo on Facebook, and Michael's posted it to his 86 followers on Instagram. You don't know how that one works. To at least give the impression, in your Ralph Lauren shirts, holding your $20 cocktails, that you're both way more successful than you are. But it makes you feel a little dirty. The lengths you have to go to in order to keep Michael happy. And every time you glance at this picture, you wonder, how long before he leaves me? See? I guess we both know each other a bit.